Hello everyone, this is Andrew from No Code No Problem and I would be glad to show you how our group chat app works. After initial sign up, user will be prompted to fill their uh, profile so that they can uh, submit uh, a few info about uh, who they are, what their name and maybe some optional photos about themselves. After completing the profile, users are able to access people and chats tab where they can find people and create new chats uh, with them. In people, I can search them by name, add them to my uh, contacts, and they will appear here for quick access. I'll go to user uh, profiles, see their info, uh, see my chats with this user and can start uh, chats right from the uh, from this screen. Okay, let's do it and create a new chat. You can see it was added just here. I can click on it and see the empty chat uh, screen here. By default, uh, the initial chat icon uh, is set to the uh, logo of the user who created the chat, but I can click the edit chat and submit any logo uh, for the chat that I would like. And uh, let's call it a uh, birthday party. Hooray. Um, I changed my uh, chat and can start uh, chatting, writing some messages. Hello there. Um, as you uh, probably already have seen, the chat has a couple of uh, setting options like title, logo, and also the admin role. Who the, It is the one who created the chat initially and then can manage chat participants. I initially created the chat with two participants here, Olivia, Tricia, but I can of course add more users uh, to the chat uh, or remove users uh, uh, from the chat by clicking them uh, here. And uh, as you can see, when I add new users, uh, a new message is automatically posted about this or when I remove users, it is uh, also posted automatically here. Uh, I can click on any message as an uh, admin or as an sender of the message and uh, update the message. Uh, copy it to clipboard, see more details, see user who sent it or delete it uh, in case uh, if I don't want uh, this message to appear here anymore. Um, important to note is uh, that uh, only one user can be a chat admin. It is the users that manages the uh, participants of the chat. And this, if I, for example, change uh, this role to, let's say, Patricia, then I as a user can no longer uh, change admins and can no longer add remove users. But I can leave chat as a regular user if I don't want to participate in this uh, chat. Uh, I left uh, this chat and it is no longer, uh, it no longer appears here. Um, uh, another option uh, that uh, is useful uh, to create chats is from general chat. Uh, here and uh, it creates as well a new chat but just uh, without any participant just uh, with you so that they, you can later add new users and start chatting with your friends as you might uh, also notice there is uh, this red icon it appears here when it's a new chat and with a, a prompt to send your first message or in case when you um, receive new messages for example let's uh, go to this uh, party uh, chat and uh, check it out from the other participant um, or the summer tree party from the view of Patricia and we can see that uh, she received new messages and uh, when she goes to this uh, screen they can see the history of all messages and uh, when they click back this uh, icon disappeared meaning that they already read this uh, message. Another useful feature here is uh, blocking users that you can do on uh, the user profile uh, you can go to any user and if in case uh, you don't want to hear from this user anymore or don't want to um, uh, don't want uh, uh, these users to contact you you can block them and your block users will appear on your profile and the section box users where you can manage them tap to unblock uh, if you change your mind or just leave it all here as it is that's pretty much it uh, on the functionality of uh, the uh, group chat app from No Code No Problem. Hope you like it and uh, let us know what you think uh, and uh, what else you would like to see in such apps. Cheers.